Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Woodle Tree Adventures Deluxe. This is going to be episode 4, let's turn the timer on. And uh, in the last episode we finished the game. And really interestingly enough, by the way, I took a look at the achievement that we got, which was beat the game. And it turns out that it was only beaten by 7.4% like of players, so... Um, I'm not sure how to feel about recommending the game to everyone now, because it's either the game was potentially not very fun for a lot of people, or, um, oh, okay, so that's what these leaves were, it's just collecting those. So we're almost going to get that next one. So it's either not very fun, or maybe the controls really did throw a lot of people off. I'm going to wager it's the controls, because again, it's it's not conventional. And here's the new stage that we unlocked, but before I check it out, I just want to make sure nothing has appeared up here. And indeed nothing has. So let's go in, let's explore. Oh! I just realized something. We have range now. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. I'm not sure if it's um, because we unlocked the golden leaf or the orange leaf or something, but look at that. And let's let's just do it. Let's have a nice time. The stage is so beautiful, by the way. Um, there's a sense of serenity to it. Uh, it brings you peace. It brings me peace. I did I did see some of those tomatoes there on the side and I will be going for them, but in the meantime, I just wanted to see if we're missing anything here. It might be worth also finding out what stages are safe, what stages have a lot of tomatoes in them, and which ones I might be able to run through again, because one of the achievements will require me to do this a lot and get a lot of these. And, um, could be worth it. It could be worth keeping an eye out for that. This one seems to be a good pick, but I feel like I can learn to get good at all the stages. So, this one having a lot of water in it means that I'll be forced to be slow, whereas in the other stages I may not be forced to. And so, well, we'll keep an eye out. This one seems to be my favorite so far. It's relaxing. It's enjoyable. And this game in particular has actually made me kind of interested in the prospect of going back and developing a game myself. As I remember telling you guys in one of my older episodes, I did have intentions of building a game. In fact, I had started and gotten some nice headway. I got some of the character physics to work, I got a uh, hub world built and I had explored it. I even made music for the stage and it was really, really engrossing. It got to the point that while I was playing, or more specifically while I was um, working on the game, I would just think about code everywhere I went. While I was driving, I would try to contemplate how to get some of the codes to work while I was asleep. I would uh, dream a little bit about some of the game design, try some of the things when I woke up. It was one of those things, so it was a little bit too taxing. Um, I feel like I might have missed something, but I just need to check. Sorry about this, I uh, seem to have lost my way somewhat, but I felt like we got out of the water section too quick. There must have been something here. And I'm so sure there's a teardrop somewhere in the water. It's hard to consider that there wouldn't be. Okay, that's good to see. But yeah, so what I was saying is that I think this game has kind of reinvigorated that feeling in me, because a game like this is the sort of thing I wish I could produce. Something relaxing. Oh, there's what we missed. Um, it's a nice relaxing game, a chance for you to just enjoy yourself and let the world pass you by. Maybe someone like me, someone who's not popular on YouTube but doesn't have a lot of followers, will take the opportunity to try to showcase the game and maybe advertise it to other people. That's the goal anyway. I'm pretty okay with that though. I I don't actually mind if I made a game that people didn't particularly know about, but just the fact that it was out there, I think that would make me happy, so I'll consider it. In the meantime, however, let's continue doing what we do best. My job is a little bit... is a little, um... full. There's a lot to do in my actual line of work. As a climate change analyst, as I mentioned once, so there's analytics, and also report writing, which is what I'm doing. Did you just... Okay, I was just gonna say, it's kind of interesting how I can move at the same rate as those. Uh, yeah, analytics is a bit of a... heavy field. There's a lot to do all the time, and I'm rep writing reports all day. Researching, finding new papers to work on. So, 
that takes up a lot of my time coming back here I want to record for you guys I want to practice some guitar I got a lot of hobbies in mind my schedule is full and I mean I have a legitimate schedule I've filled out my entire calendar I'm lost by the way is there <laughs> whoa okay all right we're definitely we should have done this in the beginning of the stage we have a lot in the water that we're gonna have to go and get and I found the other the last water drop and then we can go into the water to complete the stage looks like there's nothing above the water so let's do that we've planned it out yes so what I was saying was I don't think I have the time to go back into game design but perhaps one day I'll try to get into it I enjoy this though I enjoy what I'm doing here the video editing aspect of it the tiny bits of Photoshop to get some of the backgrounds to work I intend to have a guest star one of these days someone a friend of mine who wants to play some games with me and it would be fun to play a multiplayer game with him some sort of thing I can do on my own it's all good stuff to come, so let's uh, let's enjoy it as best we can. I'm gonna have to save going up there for later. I think this is the only stage where we did not die once. But then again, they didn't really give us a lot of opportunities to die. It's quite easy. Uh, I still think this is probably a little bit too slow to be the stage I'd come to to grind on, but it might still be the one I do because it seems to have a lot. If I was being straight with you, I'm assuming the first stage is likely going to be the most likely contender. Um, there's no quick way to get back to the main menu. At least not in my opinion, so... I'd rather finish stages, and I want a stage that I can finish safely and quickly. This is so much easier now that I have the, um, the projectiles, so I think that's going to make some of the older stages a lot easier too. So that's all good news, all fun stuff. I'm in a bit of an optimistic mood as well because last night I didn't sleep very well. <laughs> I don't often get enough sleep actually. I fill my schedule to the brim like I said. I go to bed at around 11.30 or 12, I'm up by around 6 but I don't get enough sleep mid-sleep. I wake up a lot as I'm asleep as well so there's that too. And somehow we magically reached a perfectly rounded number of 750. Which surprises me so let's go out here and see if we can find anything special. As we knew there was something special in there, which was number 600. We know 800 will unlock that, and 850 will unlock this one here, whatever this is. This might be a stage, it might not be a stage. 600 was actually um, kind of filtered out. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go ahead and retest my hypothesis and try level 1 again, just to see if I can get as many as possible in that one and then I will meet you guys back again I think this is level one here so I'm gonna do it in fast forward you've seen it all before and I don't want to waste your time with it so let's see what uh, happens when we have 850 when I run through the stage real quick Why are you hitting me, sad face? <laughs> That's so cute! Oh my goodness, I wonder if they're actually enemies at all. We've done it! We've unlocked the white leaf! Which means I think we got 800. I'm gonna have to equip it, I guess, because it looks like I still have the orange leaf, which might mean I need to go and uh, jump into it. Alright, back to fast forwarding, we still have to finish this stage. Alright, let's take a look. We've got 830. Let's check out that white leaf that we've unlocked. And there it is. So that's what we had originally. We've never used this one before. What does it do? It looks like it does the same thing. Perhaps it doesn't go nearly as far. And here's the white one. And I think it might be either distance or speed. Something has to be improved. I'm going to assume distance. Alright. Next step is we're going to get 850, so we'll just have to do one other stage. I'll pick a different one, such as this one. No, that's the honeycomb one. That one's long and hard. <sighs> okay, well, I've, I've made my bed. I'll lie in it, so catch you guys in a moment. Okay, 
That went significantly better than last time. In fact, I didn't die once, to the best of my knowledge. So that's amazing. Let's go ahead and take a look. And I think it was 850, but it does not look like... Oh, never mind. It did work. <laughs> we got a little headband as well to boot. Amazing. So uh, what does that leave us with? I feel like we got all the cosmetic stuff. And uh, you would you would generally think the game is over now, and I mean it could very well be, but let's um, let's explore just one last time. We'll take a big round, see if there's anything here, and if there is really nothing, I'll go ahead and take a look and see what achievements I have left. Then we will go ahead and get all the achievements together. Um, of course, I will be considerate of your <laughs> your tenacity when it comes to getting them. If it's four thousand of these, which I think I remember it being, I'll uh, I'll make some major cuts. So in the meantime. I will, uh, I'll be right back, I suppose. Okay, everybody, I've now looked it up, and it looks like there are three achievements that I need to get. Three more, anyway. I've got five of them done. Uh, the only ones left include playing with a friend, of which I don't have a friend to play with, and I was told it doesn't really work to do so, so instead, I will have to mess with the keyboard to make it look like I got a friend over. And the next two are to get a thousand berries. They're berries, by the way. They're not apples or oranges. And... 3,000 berries. So that's the requirement. Um, I'm going to have to end it here on this episode in that case, and what I'll do in the next episode is just go ahead and quickly run through the game and try to get another uh, 2,000 or so berries and uh, mess with the keyboard to get that extra achievement it will be done. So it sounds amazing. Thank you all for watching, and I look forward to seeing you guys again in the next episode.